Well, it's that time, time for Tax Tip Tuesday with our good friend Scott from Finish Line Tax Solutions. As always, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Pleasure to be here. So this week's topic, we are talking about the Inflation Reduction Act and the effect on taxpayers. So first of all, tell us a little bit about this act. Okay. Well, the Inflation Reduction Act is just like it sounds. It's our government's attempt to uh, put measures in place to reduce the amount of inflation that we're all experiencing. Um, the choice that they had to make was either A, raise taxes, to which no one really likes that, or B, go after monies that are already owed to the United States government. Uh, they chose to do the latter, which is to uh, go and uh, be more aggressive in collecting the monies that are already owed through the IRS. Um, there have been tremendous expenditures uh, that the, the, that occurred over the past few years with uh, the PPP loans and uh, and uh, all of the, the stimulus payments and things like that in order to help people get through the COVID crisis. But now it's time to uh, render unto Caesar, Caesar so, to, so to speak. And by doing that, the IRS is going to be the main instrument that the government uses in try to, trying to recoup those funds. Um, that's basically how the IRS, what the role, role, role the IRS plays in, in this process. So how exactly will this affect us and will more people be affected? Wonderful question. Um, I like to tell all of our clients and folks I talk to on the streets because it's such a big deal. And people who owe the government, unfortunately, and I don't say this to disrespect anyone, but uh, you know the propensity is to kind of put your head in the sand and Mm -hmm. hope that nothing happens. And I highly recommend anyone who has tax problems and know that you owe the IRS, deal with, uh, deal with it aggressively and assertively and proactively. If that means calling the IRS and setting up some sort of an arrangement yourself, then do that. If that means calling us so that we can work out a negotiated settlement in a way that you can live with and that satisfies the IRS, do that. But what you cannot do and whatsoever is to do nothing because with the increase of the uh, staffing, uh, everybody's heard about the, the 87,000 revenue officers that, gonna, that are going to be added over a 10-year period. That's real. And that is doing, that's being done solely to in, in step up and aggressively pursue people who have unpaid taxes. Here's the thing. I don't want to turn a blind eye. Whenever you hear the IRS, it makes me nervous. I think we should just contact you. You guys will guide us and help us. So how can people get in touch with you? Okay, uh, our direct number, you can call us anytime, all day, every day. Uh, we're at 866-542-5477, and we are local. We have offices in Houston and in Dallas. We're the fourth largest in the country, as you can see. We've been recognized by Inc. Magazine. Uh, so we do know what we're doing, uh, but again, if you don't call us, call someone. You know, Don't just let the IRS sneak up on you and take your hard-earned hard money. Well, as always, thank you for this week's Tax Tip Tuesday. And thank you for having me.